come off of. Uh, the, we, the amazing, sexy aliens in the world. Oh my God, he says so. Well, I believe him. You don't even think you're at work a second when you actually just fit in a good character. We were so in, so in it that sometimes I believe outside I had a superpower. <laughs> it works. It was amazing. It was amazing. To be in the front of the big screen, I have no words. It was like I've been waiting for this month for a minute. So. Thank you. No, no, you're welcome. <laughs> so, it's like, so that's what it is now. What I like about it is that it's not a reboot. It's a continuation, but it's a much bigger scope. So it's um, all over the world. It's not just one city. It's new teams, a lot of new types of aliens, new threats. So that's what I like about it is that it exists in the Men in Black universe. We're not erasing anything, but we're just expanding it. I think the big defining thing about Men in Black is that it's very, very funny. So this one is also very, very funny. It's a lot of jokes, you know. I mean, if there were aliens on Earth hiding, there would be funny stuff that would happen. And this movie really gets to that. So my character's name is Pawnee. He's like a little alien guy that uh, sort of ends up joining uh, Agent M and Agent H uh, on their mission. Uh, and he meets them about halfway through the movie. And then he's sort of part of the team. First of all, I think every movie should be seen on the big screen. This one especially, there's such huge, amazing special effects. And, and you know, I think comedy should be seen on a screen because you get to share that experience with a bunch of people. But I mean, a movie of this scope really should be seen in the theater. I've been a fan of Men in Black for so, so long. So when they called me asking if I wanted to do it, it was a no brainer for me. I couldn't say yes fast enough. It's great because we've seen Tessa and Chris on screen together before, but they play such different characters, so it's interesting, you know, they have a completely different, they have this chemistry, but their rapport in the movie is completely different, their relationship is completely different, so it'll be, uh, I, I think people will understand, you know, I want to see them do 10 completely different movies together. What was interesting to me was, uh, I was such a fan of the original franchise, uh, I was 14 when the first one came out. Um, and so being a true fan of it and having the opportunity to not reboot or remake it but to expand on that universe was the biggest opportunity for me and, and I just speak for Tesla as well we both talked about this on the tour the last couple of weeks and, and to give it a more of a, a global feel take that in New York we shot in Italy and, and London and, and Marrakesh and, and Morocco and Sahara Desert Paris um, and then also having a, a female lead at the, at the forefront of it and there's always been women in the organization of MIB, Tessa, uh, um, uh, Emma Thompson reprises her role, um, but to have uh, you know, Tessa right you know, front and center of this thing was, I think, what made it feel fresh and unique to us, and, and who better than her? She embodies kind of everything that's, that's right about that, 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 that statement in herself. Just having worked together a number of times, you know, you get lucky uh, at times, and, and often you have to work for it and find that chemistry and find that sort of nuance and the rhythm but the first time we worked together on Ragnarok in, in Thor was we hit it off and became great friends and have sort of capitalized on that now and I think um, you know for me personally the fact that she was doing this film was a big incentive and, and, and gave it a lot of a lot of comfort in, in jumping on and, and you know knowing that I had a collaborative partner in the process so it's great. A big concern for us too was or concern but a need and a want was to to, to, to utilise the chemistry we had to, to maximise the humour, but also to make sure the film was had a great amount of fun in it, and and that's why I go to the cinema. That's why I became an actor was to you know to be taken on a ride and the fun, the adventure, and the comedy, and that was what this film was about. Was was um, you know a lot of improvisation, and as I said, use, using our sort of chemistry. But we had fantastic writers. We had F. Gary Gray at the centre of it, and you know encouraging that. So we did. We had a blast making it, and I think it's a it's a blast to have seen it. And so this is the reason, you know, as I said, I, I went to the cinemas as a kid, you know, the larger than life sort of elements, the sci-fi feel to it, the comedy, the fun, the adventure. Um, and I think there's sort of, you know, you can't rival that no matter how good your sound system at home gets, but the special effects and so forth in the big screen, on the big screen is, is unlike any other. We never wanted to remake the film, we wanted to really continue 
on in the same spirit of the original franchise. And first of all, we take the film into a global space. We've only seen the organization here in New York City, so we take it across the world to London, to Marrakesh, to Italy, to the Sahara Desert, uh, to Paris, and then back to New York. So I think it's really, yeah, global in scope, which adds a new element. Obviously, Chris and I take over the helm from some pretty big shoes, but I think that adds a real new, fresh dynamic to the piece. We have tons of new aliens and gadgets, and I think the film is fresh because it's made at this time with a more modern sensibility. And obviously, there's always been women inside of the organization. There's never been a, a female protagonist inside of one of these films. I think that's really new and original. Everyone has had the experience of meeting someone and sort of liking them right away. I think the truth is now Chris and I have worked together for a number of years. Now I know why I like him. <laughs> I know all the things that are true about him, which is he's just so kind and sweet and generous as an actor. He has a lovely family that he cares about deeply, so it's not just about the work. He, you know, All those things are really admirable about him. But I think in terms of us, we have a working dynamic in which we feel free to try anything in front of each other and also free enough to say what you just did wasn't that good. <laughs> and I think there's something about that that makes for a dynamic that is really honest and, and uh, hopefully you get some good stuff out of it. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.